week two, 609. Can we see it? Can we see it? Aaron's computer box is still here. That's one week now. <laughs> Shit, morning, morning. I just realized I hadn't actually recorded anything since I left the house. Where are you doing with practice? Willie came. He forgot something. There's a lot of guys here. We did actually seven. Seven on seven. Well, seven on one, two, three, four. Whatever, I can't count at this point. And then, there's my car. Beep, beep, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll have Willie. He is horrible. He is really convinced to come here instead of going back to the pit bulls. Oh really? Oh yeah. He's like, I'm all in. I'm all in. We cobras now. I'm like, okay. I like hearing that. Did you pick him up today? Yeah. We we train because he lives like ten minutes south of me. Oh, that was that was something. I am losing my mind right now. My phone has notifications. It's Mick McAllister's birthday. Hot bro, oh, crayfish. Two new messages. Chris Barnard, Andrew Christian, Andrew Christian. LaSalle, pay your rent online, sweet. So yeah, like Chad Ayers was here. Willie was here. There's, there's Gunner. Sweet Jesus. Not like Trevor though. He's still pretty good. And then, I need my power bar. And I need to charge you. You didn't charge this morning. I want to get Willie's impression of the team on camera. Like, bruh, seriously. Again, it's that after practice. What is it about a country boy with a big truck? And then the guy with his adorably little kid. He played a linebacker. Um, that was good, I didn't catch his name. One thing at a time. Water in the back. You sit right there. Hi. It's rocking back and forth because I'm shaking the car a little bit. Mm. Oh, that's cold and hard. Bro, I gotta drive all the way back down to Southern, I'm fucking tired. I was too refreshed out of high school. Both ears of the pit bulls, I felt a little bit weird. A little weird. And things are just like, man, feeling good. Getting a, this is this is different. With Chad, he's got me. Like he knows that I panic easily. Oh, that's great. I've taken his old number. 17. Oh, Cab? Mm-hmm. Chad was 17? Yeah, when we played them two years ago. Oh. I remember we he was like cracking me up the whole time. So you're taking 17? Yeah, dude. That's a weird, that's a... Willie Low, 17. It'll be funny as fuck, bro. <laughs> I love it. Well, you know. Bro, I'm already... New I'm, number, you're different than the pitbulls. Exactly. Hey, it's like, a new, I don't really care. Like, new I'll day, take, new way. I gotta I'll, be a new man, because I'm not a running back anymore. I'm not a running back. I shed my skin. Yeah. I'm a butterfly. I got blonde hair now. <laughs> but I'm, like, losing my mind, because I'm having that after-practice sort of derp. Dude, you were doing good. Oh, if you had a dough for that one that Dre tipped, I was like, oh my god, it's still about to get I this. just... I thought you were going to, you thought about it. Like, it went job. over it, it caught it, didn't catch his hands, then Dre tipped it, and you, I just... You were thinking about it. I huh? saw it, and I just, I don't know, my brain kind of... Because it was hardly late in the practice, and I derped. First practice with the Cobras, my boy Theo. I found myself a new home. Look for your boy, low number 17. We out here. Yeah, I don't know. We out here. I don't know what number I'm going to get. I don't like... They got a lot of 20, so... Right? Whatever. Whatever, it's just sort of like... Hey, if you take... I'll, I might... If you take 24 again, I'll take 23. You said 17. I know, but I can rock 23 too. I don't know. Whatever. But... Uh, I gotta get home. I gotta get coffee. I gotta turn the car on. Because yeah. this is an electric-ish car. And why the fuck... Yeah, Theo, on? thank you so much for bringing me to this, dude. This, bro, this, Let's like... This can't my startup, god damn it. Hi. I'm home now. We are... I'm literally... I, I dropped Willie off at his house. Mmm... My hamstring not happy with me. The more my hamstring is unhappy with me, the better work, the more work I did, the better job I did. My toe is somewhat feeling not so much on fire, but it's going to later. I might need to unlock the door. Why? Oh, it's a vlog thing, TJ. Keep yourself centered. Hi. 
even though the camera is tipping in a weird direction. Oh, he's dressed cool. I can <laughs> look at this how I'm holding shit, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> I pretty much have to come in, do something, because we don't really have anything to eat. We have no bread. I had my bread this morning with because I needed carbs. I wasn't gonna run on just yogurt and coffee. And so I need to make sure that I take off all these clothes because it was rainy. It was ankle roll alley for part of that. Now, some chickies with their, um, they wanted to come play soccer at like eight o'clock in the morning. So we moved over to the other field that was like the practice field for Prairie High School. They have a turf field, but there's a fence. And even midway through our second part, it, part the youth football team, the Cardinals, I'm not sure which one the Cardinals are. You can't do, here, what if I, there we go. Keeping myself on camera, <laughs> kinda. Mm. You are in, is it Court of fucking Ferrandis today? Yeah. Oh, I called it on the field. I'm like muttering to myself, like nobody plays WoW. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I wanna call Aaron, but like, hey, this was like 8.30. And I was like, hey, what are the emissary quests today? Because it's like 8.30, and I'm like, I know it's not going to be fucking High Mountain. They've been having that one for a while. I know it's going to be the night falling again, because that would be a blessing, but they just had that one yesterday. It's probably called a court of fucking Ferrandas. <sighs> and like, G, his name is actually G-A-Q-U-A-N, and is actually pronounced Jaquan. Well, yeah. How old would you pronounce that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But to me, I'm like, Willie's like, yeah, it's a really weird name to say. I was like, unless it's a deity in Babylon 5. And so, of one of the cooler characters, he says, one of your favorite characters? I was like, if you watch Babylon 5 three, t three times in a row, you definitely find that all of them are your favorite. Even though, even the worst characters, even Morden has his little bit of favoriteness about it. You're just like, hmm. Even, okay, okay, I can't get behind Kartaja. <laughs> I can't get behind Emperor Cartagia. Is there a lot that showed up, or was it just like five? Because I did a lot of Court of Ferrandis. I did a lot of as soon as. Fair number, but I didn't do a lot yesterday. Ah, uh, I did a lot of stuff because if people are doing Levantis, it probably counts because it's in the zone. Yep. So, do you want to say anything? What time did you get up? What you've been doing? Uh, I got up around eight, been goofing off. It's wow, it's eleven. Yeah, I gotta leave and go pick up Willie so we can get to the game by noon. Oh, you're not doing Court of Ferrandis anymore? Not you, at the moment, no. You're... follow the path, yeah. You need to take her to that little stone thing. That little stone thing? This... That little stone thing, okay. Yeah. Yeah, follow the path and... But there's... there's mana. Don't worry about ancient mana, you know this shit. It's yeah. everywhere. Once you get further down in there, it's... you're not even gonna get the shit out there anymore. And you're like, I can walk around kind of free and clear inside and find flowers or double double flask arc wine or whatever it's called that give you like a hundred. Mm. Finding these little ancient mana shards for ten is nothing. You're like, why would I go around looking for ten when I can go into the city and pick up a hundred? No problem. Did you not trigger something with her? Apparently. It says I have to scout this area. You just have to walk forward. I think what it's supposed to be is you're supposed to trigger enemies. Like that. She's such a... She really is. I just want to say, I'm... She gets a Kai Wind thing. Like I said, this, this is the exact quest where you're supposed to open up the portal down to the Fell Soul Hold. It was, like, it was rainy and it was muddy and I was running a lot like there w we did seven on seven pretty much most like for an hour and a half like we did W drills and stuff and then the DB stood around while receivers ran routes as as it goes <laughs> as one does like we did our W drills and then we did like now here's the thing is we were like two re or two, two DBs doing this like backing up and then like the, the QB would like put the ball in a certain direction and whichever direction it was, the person on that side became the receiver and the person that was on the other side. So like if you're backing up with someone and I go to the right, I'm going to throw the ball. You both run out that direction. The person that was on this side becomes the receiver 
and the person that was on this side becomes the DB. You just basically have to defend the catch, and yeah. And then we went like actual like one on ones, but with as the DBs go one on one with each other. <laughs> Receiver moves to DB, moves to the back of the line, sort of thing. But there's only five of us. But it's one of those things. It was like you show up at the beginning. The politics after a while um, doesn't mean much. And as Willie says, it doesn't look like it's going to mean much. The politics, like there's probably people that have been with the team for a long time, but the people that are coming out to the practices and getting out there at seven in the morning on a Saturday when it's not even official time, you know, you, you're not even, yeah. anyways, I need to get real clothes on <laughs> and charge the camera a little bit because the car did give it a bit, but I know it's fudging me a bit right now. Every 35 time. to 13. Huh? 35 to 13. Westview versus Southridge. Southridge remains defeated. <laughs> Wait, who has Southridge played so far? Um, they played, I don't know their preseason games. I know they played Jesuit, Beaverton, Westview. And I think they got Sunset next week. Nice. Yeah, when you said not in the box, I kind of looked here at the camera and went, what? Yeah, what the? <laughs> Everybody's like all up on the last one. Was that 2-5 defense? <laughs> like they were coming up with linebacker names, you know how there's like the Mike linebacker, then they were calling it the Sam linebacker and the Jimmy linebacker. I'm like, they were coming up with names for linebackers. I'm like, I'd never heard. It's because you're calorically deficient. It happens. You know, it just happens after stuff. I yawn like the whole day after practice. After games, it's pretty much go home, go to bed. So it's not that big a deal, and the body resets itself. But like, if I have to, if I have to go to mom's house, if I have to yawn, or if I have to do keep doing things after a practice in the morning, I'm yawning all damn day. My body is just behind the times. But if I can go home, sit down, play WoW for a couple hours, I can get the yawning away. Uh oh. I'm scanning the numbers with my camera, seeing, trying to figure out who it is. Oh, okay. As I saw on the camera, I was like, uh-oh, dark skin, kind of larger. Is it Miles? No. That's why I was scanning the sideline, seeing if we could find Miles. Ah. Uh, so I always, that's why I always wear colorful socks. So, so no. <laughs> Hold on to him. Yeah, he's good. Good well, That's part of the thing about the Cobras, is they're sort of like, even with the... With the pit bulls, it was sort of like, I didn't... I feel invested in it. Well, I don't feel invested. <laughs> I already feel 100% more invested. And I stay. And that's part of it that's that's, that's brought my mood up. Is I don't really I didn't have any gross mistakes today. No. I mean I may have had the okay mistakes, but we'll just call those first first week mistakes. They're not even really mistakes. There's just plays that you could have like, capitalized on. That's not really a mistake. It wasn't like if you didn't capitalize that way. Well, it's not like I let the, a receiver completely run free. Yeah. Did you see Miles right there on the line? There's little Trevor, number eight. Miles is leading the damn thing. Shh. Forget the zoom on this camera sometimes. I'm like zoomed into Miles. I'm like, wow, I'm actually really close. And then I zoom back out. And it's like, nyum, 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 nyum. I'm like, you could stop zooming out now. I don't need to go view behind me. 
That's okay. He's 56. He doesn't need to learn how to catch a ball. He does not. The fact that there are some people in this in various leagues that actually play with glasses still on is fucking amazing. All right. You need to focus, camera. We are on our way to Olive Garden because we we're gonna do that last Sunday. But shit happened. Yeah. And we got done and it was like, okay, let's go out to Olive Garden. I was like, we have like an hour and a half until once upon a time. And, and so, yeah, uh, Miles and Trevor, they, they their team lost. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Willie and I were like, why is the other team at like 39? They should be only 35. Are they gonna get fined? Is their coach gonna have to sit out? Nope, not in junior varsity or varsity. Mm. For the youth team, they, they take away the, the 35 point spread difference. So they don't have to, because th that doesn't happen in high school. So yeah. they're gonna have to get used to the fact that they may get ass whooped. Yeah. But you don't wanna have like a third grader get his ass whooped 80 to zero or something like that. No. You know, because that's just, that, that could literally stop a kid from ever playing football, even though he didn't do anything bad or anything. Yeah. The the youth team was showing up to Brush Prairie High School and was playing, because we were, we were on a soccer field. Mm. And then a soccer team showed up, so we picked up stuff, and we moved over to, like, an ankle roll alley <laughs> football field. Like, it had football lines and everything. We were able to, you know, five yards off and not have to guesstimate, yada, yada. That's good. But then, like, I thought, oh, God, they're going to use this thing. And then Chad, he was like, no, no, they're going to use the turf field. And I was like, oh, that's what's behind the fence. Okay. I didn't look what was over there. But, yeah, all these youth guys, these little kids, they were probably fifth or sixth grade. And they'd walk into the, like, little hut, and then they'd walk out the other side. And I'm like, oh, they, they have a gated entrance to it, basically. Oh, okay. But, yeah, like, I don't know what team this is, but they were the Cardinals. And... Yeah, I just looked over and I'm like, is that a girl? <laughs> like, I saw, like, I saw the ponytail and everything and I was like, you know, sometimes boys can have ponytails, even at that young age. Yeah. You know, if you just, I mean, and then she gets closer and she gets closer and then they have a situation where I need to be up in like a press situation even though I was at a safety and I get really close and I see, yep, that's a girl. Yes. Whoever the Cardinals are, they have a girl playing on their youth team. Whether she goes into high school or whatnot, you know, Holly would be proud. Yeah. You have anything to say? Like, how your little thing went with the paladin? It was not the end. I thought it was going to be the end, but... Yeah, he thought I was farther in the in the campaign than I was. Um... But you are... I, I've got to be close. Yeah, this is the very last thing, <laughs> and then you'll go and defend Nether Light Temple. Yeah. Which will be your scenario. Uh, it was... It was neat. I mean, it's the... They're doing a good job of use your mechanics. I had to go around and rescue silver hand... Paladins. Mini pal paladins. Minions, whatever. NPCs. And they were, like, poisoned or rooted or injured. weak or injured or dead. And I had to fix whatever was wrong with them to rescue them. You had to cleanse toxins. Or yeah, I had to cleanse toxins. Blessing or, of freedom. Yeah, and it took me a while to figure it out. It was like, I can't do anything with this guy. I can heal this guy. I can right-click this guy to res him. And then you're like, you have a buff. You're poisoned. Oh, click, click, boom. Because I didn't have it on my bar. Well, yeah, <laughs> but then I'm sitting here thinking, they're making you use all your mechanics. Because on my priest, I had to mind control a murloc and bring him over and unlock the cage. Hmm. Because the thing was, because the lock was so intricate that only murloc fingers could, it was like such a crazy lock that only murloc fingers and a thought process could do it. So I had to mind control a murloc <laughs> or something like that and like walk him over and right click the cage. Nice. But yeah, and I could just imagine what else I have to do for that, so. But yeah, um, while I was doing that quest, one of the people I had to rescue was a dread lord who was made of light. Yeah, Instead like of, he had the wings and the, the vampire head. Uh, 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 head. But he was glowing golden and said, don't worry friend, I'm an ally. Okay. 
Yeah. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> well, you had an idea once you walked up and you saw him. You're like, that's where this guy comes in. Yeah, I, I'd seen him in my followers list. Why? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> like, you know, if he shows up, he's going to show up in your order hall and you're like, I'm not going to have any problem seeing anything in here. Right. <laughs> that guy is literally like, and that just makes me think, can you like overcharge you know, evil with light and turn them into... It's weird, because there's uh, a Hearthstone card. Don't remember the name of it. Dang it. But it's a Warlock card that changes your hero power and changes every... Oh, it's called Repent, I think. Changes every class effect and class card in your deck to another class. You basically stop being a warlock. <laughs> like I said, after this, I'm gonna have to go march forward. I'm gonna have to level cap CD so yeah. I can get her up there, so I can start doing the rest of this stuff on my own. But yeah, I really got. I should finish Ross's first. <laughs> One order hall campaign at a time. But yeah, we're heading to Olive Garden. Probably not gonna record in there. Just yeah. a pretty noisy, full of conversations. I've tried to record in there, and I wound up picking up a lot of different conversations because. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. Although it is, you know, not even five yet, so. However, that is nice and dinner hour, and it has been raining. Yeah. Eh, we'll see. Morning, morning. I woke up at like 5.30, and I didn't want to record, because for some reason I was under the impression that nobody wanted to be bothered at 5.30 in the morning by me recording. Not you, the people, you guys. I thought that you did not want to be bothered at 5.30 in the morning by re-recording, even though you're probably not going to watch it till like, afternoon on Monday, not 5.30 in the morning on Sunday. Because, yeah. Because <laughs> I was just so exhausted from yesterday, I don't even remember how I went to sleep. I just was, like, in here laying down. I was talking to Max on the phone, yeah. and I realized it was, like, an hour on the phone with him. And I was like, holy shit, but we actually talked about things. Whereas, like, Brad and I just sort of yammer. Yeah. And then I put the phone down on the charger, and I was browsing things for a little while, and you were over there. I don't know what you were doing. I was playing WoW. I don't know what you were doing on WoW. I don't know when you thought about even coming to bed. I saw that it was 9.30, and I just went... I just, like, melted into the bed. Was the light still on? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. All the lights were still on. You just came in here because you were on the phone, and you lay down because... You did. Well, you were dealing with a mission, and I didn't want to keep talking over... Or you are doing serious questing stuff and mm. wanted to hear the voices. <clears throat> so I came in the bedroom so that you would be able to hear it. Yeah. So then it was like another half an hour before I go to bed. So, because I was... Yeah. Because I looked at the... So I thought maybe if I could just, you know, get Max off the phone, but it was only like half an hour while I was pacing back and forth in the kitchen, so I came in the... But yeah. What were you yeah. doing? Questing. I don't remember which quest. No, I was in an instance. Right. Mm. No. Yes, because I went over there and you were... No, when I got off my computer, you were in the Warden's one with your yeah. Warlock. Because I came over and I was like, you're you're typing in caps. And you're like, I know. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Oh, you were watching the Illidan thing. Yeah. Which you're like, halfway through, you're like, I've seen this before. No, halfway through, I was like, yeah, I don't want to watch more. You, but you hadn't seen it before? I had. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. If, On YouTube with you. Well, yes. When I said, oh, I'd seen this before. No, I hadn't seen this before. I just didn't want to watch any more of it. That's what it sounded like. Ah, it wasn't, oh, I've seen this before. I knew from the start that I'd seen it before, as soon as I saw the first panel of it. Yeah, the other ones, if you go around the world and get those, like the one from Kara, you'll get um, Khadgar. And then if you go out to Draenor Shadowmoon Valley... You'll get gold ends. And there's an achievement for it, so when you get the chance. The one in Kara is just down in the crypt somewhere. And the one. This one was in an instance. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, Illidan was kept in the Vault of the Wardens, which is like the super prison for the Wardens. Like they have. No, he was kept in the Barrows. Yeah. He was in the Barrows for a long time. But here he was kept in the Vault of the Wardens wow. after, after Black Temple. Him and all the rest of the Illidari were kept down there that they captured. Because I realized I should probably at least move move Knoro's butt down to, into southern, or into lower Suramar. I have a dual crafting quest down. Yes, I just finished my enchanting quest. I have a dual crafting quest down there. 
Go get fancy people's gems. Uh. So I messaged Kathy. I'm like, is the time still on for the game today? And she hasn't messaged me back, but that was also 5.45 in the morning. Because when you're already up for like 20-ish minutes and you're just like, everyone else is up, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I also did the Halls of Valor. And that was, that was weird. Yeah, because you got um, Heimdall and then if you have the weird... If you have the dragon thing on the outside, you have a mini boss inside. Mm -hmm. If you have a world quest that goes inside, you have a mini boss. I think we did. And then you've got the wolf, and then you've got in normal, and I think in heroic. Sometimes on heroic, no. Most of the time in normal, they just run over to the 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 Valkyr chicky, and they just kite the boss over to the to the darker guy and they just tank him there the entire time darker guy you have the dark guy the dark guy and the light guy the, the Valkyr boss in Halls mm -hmm. of Valor the one who's getting ascended or whatever yeah. yeah yeah when you kite her over to the dark guy she gets powered up by that and the storms come down and you have to get inside the bubble gotcha your melee so getting yeah. inside a bubble usually isn't a problem because the tank's gonna drag it over there anyways yeah uh, getting inside a bubble is a ranged healer problem <laughs> And, but the other one is with the light, and they'll do the little... And they'll send out the little waves of light. That's harder for melee. And sometimes I've seen a tank who has two melee will actually go over and do the dark one more than... But we had, like, all ranged one time in a normal, and it was like, whatever. Let's just stay on the, let's just stay on the other one, because it was like, the tank can dodge it. So we went over and just stayed on the light side the entire time. Mm. Because it was easier on the healer, but in heroic they'll move back and forth between them, because if they, as they successively go through cycles of light or of the dark, and then they do it again, the storm gets stronger next time, but the bubble oh. doesn't, and then the storm gets stronger, and it can still work, but on normal you can pretty much down the boss by like the second bubble, but on heroic it can take three, and the storm is so much more powerful on number three. Mm. Um, that explains it. I didn't realize that you could choose to drag her over there. I thought she just went. Having a pally tank is actually kind of weird, because they use the charger. <laughs> <laughs> over to the other side, and the boss is like, well, I guess I'll go over there this time. Yeah. Well, you would do it too, wouldn't I you? I totally would. But you would use the charger to be like, I am not, I'm just going to pull these next six mobs over to the corner. Pally yeah, charged that's through what them. people did. Or it's what this guy did. Yeah, just pally charge through them and go stick your ass in a corner. When it works in other instances where you're like, I'm just going to, like, for the, for this next pathway, just tank everything. Because you know now, because you use it all the time, how far you go. Yeah. At least in a straight line. And now you understand why it's like, you are really good at your blinking. Yeah, I know exactly how far I go in a blink. That's why I couldn't glyph it. But anyway, so... Gun shoes are going to freak me out. You're using them is the thing. I'm not. I'm just sticking with the nitro boosts. Nitro boosts on my... Belt. Current belt. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the gun... Sh I don't know. You have to tell me if they screw up. Oh. I don't think they will. Well, they don't have any... Uh, they don't have a warning on them. They only have one star. But, anyways, I'm going to... We're going to probably head out, uh, like I said, if Kathy's thing is, if it's still, at, if Timmy's game is still at one, we're going to have to go earlier to mod. Okay. Which I'm glad you kind of woke up early. But yeah, so probably the next thing is Timmy's game at Kickins. Not that I'll be able to tell. What, is he the short one in the front?
Keep zooming out, please. Hi. So, it's almost halftime. It's 3.36 till the half. The Camus team, which is home, apparently. It was funny because this is the East Vancouver Venom and the Camus something. Nobody's home. Like, this is a Vancouver field. So, anyways. <laughs> so, the Camus team is home and Timmy's team is away. They're not losing by much. Only by one point. And I, th I swore that it was something slightly different. But Timmy's been on the field, and that boy is not losing on his, on his line. He's playing right guard or right tackle. That nothing's getting through on his side, so he's doing good. The pro and he's going to be told that by me. I just, and I'll try to get a little interview with him afterwards. I'm going to get more coffee. What about your game? How do you feel about it? I'm happy, I guess, because my more of my family are here. Oh yeah. My dad, because he hasn't been to one of my games. That's well, you know, adults gotta work, or they live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But I was, I'm happy we lost. <laughs> you what? I'm happy, but we lost. Well, as long as you maintain a happy attitude, even though you lose, it's because really it's all just a game. You're gonna go home and you still got video games. It's not the end of the world, right? Yeah. Especially Fallout 4. Well, and the fact, but as long as you know that when you're on that field, you got to be in the football mindset, not in the Fallout mindset. I know. You're not chasing decaying bears. Decaying bears? Maybe I'm thinking Fallout 3. There was like dying, diseased bears in Fallout 3. They're called like Yokai. Yo oh, right, the Yuan Kai or whatever that is. But, by the way, I was actually watching you. You were really holding your ground. Thank you. <laughs> My coach was saying that too. Yeah, like you are a wall, but when it comes to run plays, you need to kind of look for a little bit more work. Because I was like, they'd run, and I understand that they ran a different direction. They'd run away from you, which is good. A dollar. That's a lucky day. Oh, yeah. But. Like I said, you know, yeah, they ran away from you, but you still got to make sure that no one's pursuing Chase, which I think you were doing. I'll have to review the footage when I get home. So it was really weird here at Freddy's because we were, we grabbed his bananas. I saw Nick, but he was like stocking a bunch of stuff and I knew it was late, so perhaps he hadn't, he didn't have time to do stuff, but like all of a sudden, like he comes up and like talks to us and then we just stand in front of the deli for a long time and chat. I have no response. <laughs> Thought I ran over your foot for a second. Oh, chilies. Are those PF Chang things still like cheap, cheap? Those were delicious. Chili sriracha cream cheese bontons. So they got chicken mini egg rolls right there. But they're like, or they got, yeah, they're $3.49. These are just weird and delicious. They're a closeout on because I don't think nobody wants a chili sriracha cream cheese wonton. You know, when you get a weird enough name like that, people tend to avoid buying stuff. Yeah, he needs to get his uh, Stouffer's. Stouffer's, Swedish meatballs. Swedish meatballs, that's Monday for you? Yeah. yeah. Fall over P.F. Chang's, God damn it. <laughs> Big snack roll. Morning, morning. Her, there's still a bag down there from yesterday. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was on camera. I think we were taking in the groceries and I looked over there and was like, there is just random bags laying outside her door. <laughs> I mean, it's a two bedroom and there's multiple people living in there now, but before it was just her, so yeah. So we did, since Aaron has, I don't even know, You did what with Prime? Because of why? So I, I'm, a, I'm a student. 
I have an EDU, EDU address, which means I can get Amazon Prime Student free for six months, and then I think it's cheaper. WoW released a title, and Hearthstone released a card, card back and hero for people who attach their Twitch accounts and their Amazon accounts. So I did that. Okay. Since we have Prime, we have finally been able to watch Mockingjay. Mockingjay. Keep what I call catching it. Fire. Not catching fire. Mockingjay. And so we watched part one. And then Aaron's like, I need something more cheery. I'm like, let's watch The Evil Queen on Once Upon a Time. That's less depressing. But anyway, and then we watched part two. <laughs> and went to bed late. I was expecting more action out of Mockingjay. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, that was like trailers from like two years ago that I have romanticized in my mind. So... No, they, they did market it as more of an action. Yeah. I mean, I, I did expect the first part to be sort of really storyline driven and to like try to develop the characters and whatnot and give, give a reason for people to be charged up for part two <laughs> as storylines would go, but part two still didn't even seem that way. It, it didn't even seem like p full of political intrigue even. I was like, this is definitely... Uh, this is definitely a young adult novel because when they translate it to a movie, I can see the shit from a mile away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, once upon a time. Yay, Evil Queen's back. But, ooh, Evil Queen's back. Well, I like the fact that Lana Perea is able to play the Evil Queen with all those dresses and just be evil, yeah. but still be able to be Regina. And can we talk about the fact that her hair and makeup styling Seems to be pulling her more and more towards Bride of Frankenstein. The Evil Queen? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Um, I think it's just the fact that fancy and your hair up high. Her hair's getting higher and higher. I know, but <laughs> whenever I see Bride of Frankenstein, I always see it as like straight up, almost even outwardly conical. Yeah. And like messy, not in a style and way high like not in a really well done beehive or something. It's that and sometimes it's not even her hair. Sometimes her hats just do that. Or sometimes you don't see the fact that her hair, that she's got like a lace little thing on her scalp and her hair is pulled back into a ponytail, but her cowl makes it look like she's got big hair. Cause you may not be able to see her black hair on the black cowl. I'm still convinced that Emma's not gonna die, but the savior may be released from her. Yeah, which will definitely make the the show, if it continues past that, which it probably will. Interesting. Depends on who becomes the savior. Yeah. So when we came by here on uh, Friday, Aaron didn't say anything. We also didn't vlog that day. But like, every single freaking bike was out. Like, the Nike bikes were like, well, maybe they... It's like, did they go back for refurbishing? Well, probably, because they're like... Well, there's a bulk of them gone, but they're still... They're like, they're back. Yeah. I don't know why they keep coming and going. <laughs> My friend that works in, at Nike in the, what they call it, being a black badge, he, uh, he's out gallivanting around town, or gallivanting around the country, opening Nike stores, Nike towns, or whatever they want to call them. The ones where plebes get to go. Oh. Bye. Oh. I didn't think it was walk on the platform today. Digits.